Good morning, guys. This is a lovely backdrop for sat doing my hair, isn't it? Sorry about the echo, as always, but I'm just sat in the filming room, content room. Um, oh, hello, straighteners. Just doing my hair, getting ready for the day, as you can see. Makeup's all done. I have been riding this morning, which was lovely. I had a jumping lesson today, which was great, considering the last jump lesson I had, as you will know if you watched my last vlog. Um, not that I showed it in there, but I did mention it that I, that the horse had refused on one of the jumps. Totally my fault. And um, yeah, I came off and had a bit of a funny back spasm after so none of that today it was all very good um definitely like the confidence giving lesson that i need that i needed after that fall the last time so i'm laughing because it wasn't a bad fall at all it was a silly fall but um but anyway forgetting about that today's lesson was brilliant just feeling very just very like on on a good track with it anyway <laughs> I don't want to talk too much about horses because I know this is not a horsey riding channel but yeah it, I always feel weird I don't know how much to talk or not to talk about it because I show so much of my life and it's I kind of see it as you know even though I'm predominantly fashion kind of related I still show you like my dogs even it doesn't have to be a full dog channel so yeah I hope you don't mind the odd little bit of horsey stuff here and there because it almost feels weird not mentioning it I almost feel like it's like a dirty little secret um but it's just because i have had people say before i don't watch you for talking about horses so that's the only reason i'm a bit like i don't know whether to mention it or not anyway horses as i said lesson done feeling great just about to sort my hair out for the day i did have a shower when I got back I was a bit sweaty but I didn't bother washing my hair because I only washed it yesterday morning so I really couldn't be bothered so so it's probably looking a little bit limp and a bit lifeless so we're going to try and uh, jazz it up I've also been feeling so much better recently just in my body like you might if you watch my vlogs you might remember a little while ago I kind of had a bit of a a wobble would I say a wobble yeah I just feel a bit lack of confidence and a bit rubbish in my body and yeah something that I was kind of worried about speaking about out loud but yeah I made it known and honestly some of you guys that responded to it and even like reached out and sent me a dm on instagram sorry I'm probably a bit annoying I'm looking at the mirror here but um even you guys that like reached out on instagram just to kind of I don't know, give me a bit of support. It really, um, it did mean a lot, but I am feeling in a much better place now. I feel like I'm really, really nailing my workout routine, which just, yeah, I feel really, really good with it at the minute. So I've been, I actually canceled my gym membership because to be honest, guys, I was just finding every excuse not to go. Like, it is about 50, well, 15 minute drive on a good day. Usually at least 20 minutes with the traffic. 20 minute drive. So getting there and back, that's 40 minutes in just traveling out of my day, which to be honest, I just, I, it's not that I don't have time. You know, you can make time for things that are important, but I didn't want to make the time. I didn't want to spend those 40 minutes driving to the gym. So yeah, and also like, it was just another excuse not to go if it was a bit cold outside or i just wasn't i just didn't want to go so yeah the council gym membership started doing workouts from home i will pop a screenshot on screen of the girl that i well woman who um i have been like using her name's caroline she you you might have heard of her she's got like millions of subscribers um but I had never heard of her and I came across her and I'm currently doing her iron series. So I am doing a workout six times a week. I have one morning off and I've just been really enjoying them. So I bought some dumbbells that I've got at home. I already have like a mat. So I've just been 
doing that from home, using my dumbbells and honestly just feeling really great. So I've been doing that, plus me and the dogs go on a long walk either every morning or in the evening, depending on what I'm doing on the day. And we will walk a minimum of six, six and a half K. Like the route that we do is about six and a half. Sometimes we'll do an extra long one, which is about eight and a half. And already I've definitely been noticed, like noticing the difference. I already feel a little bit more, just like, like around my waist and hips. Like I, I don't know, I just don't feel as jiggly around my hips and I'm definitely just feeling a little bit tighter in my body and yeah I don't know but it might be a bit of a placebo effect but I have been sticking to my routine now for a few weeks so I am probably am going to be seeing the progress of it now but yeah it's been really really good so if you are in a bit of a rut like I was and maybe the gym just isn't for you like I I love going to the gym when I have someone to go to the gym with like when I was going before, I'd go and do classes and yeah, it's great. But I've just found if I'm by myself, I just find any excuse not to do it. So yeah, I feel like you have to find a way, you have to find a way to almost bargain with yourself. Like, right, what is going to make me do it? Because it doesn't come naturally to everyone. It certainly doesn't come naturally to me, especially in the winter months when I do find it you know it's an like extra hurdle in the winter it's dark in the morning it's cold like it's very easy to, to just skip the gym so no i have been um, really really enjoying it as i said i'll pop her info in the on screen in the description box so you can check her out i did pop her on my instagram and a couple of you messaged me saying that you've also started um her like iron series as well which is great i love to hear that Anyway, today it's just me and the doggies, actually. They're just lying down in front of me here. You can't see them. Aren't you? Hello? They're literally not even reacting. They're fast asleep. The sun is just coming in over here and they're just sunbathing. Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you up. Oh, hello, darling. Hello. Oh, they've both come over to say hello. Ollie, you are the most affectionate little boy, aren't you? most affection and you desi you play hard to get sometimes don't you are you giving your sister a kiss that's lovely lovely thing to do a nice little man so yeah it's just me and the dogs today because even though andy does work from home um he's got a rare day in the office today so just me and the pups and i also had a text to let me know that my food shop that was supposed to arrive this morning isn't coming until tonight now so i'm also like foodless so i think i might ha actually have to nip out just nip to the co-op or something and just grab grab a sandwich for my lunch because i was really banking on my food shop coming and making myself a nice little lunch which i was going to show you i was also going to show you what i've been eating a lot of recently i can't show you that today so i'll probably show you tomorrow and we'll have a a cheeky we'll have a cheap meal deal today i've basically got a filming day Planned. I've got a few reels that I need to get filmed, a few um, like stories for brands that I'm working with um, and then yeah so it's a pretty standard day. I also want to show you um, a new little update in the office, in my office upstairs um, which I'm very very happy about so yeah excited to show you that so I feel like I'm sat like a hunched old woman so yeah that is my day i hope you enjoy spending today with me and yeah i hope i hope you're all well I hope you're all good just to show you the update in the office as you can see i now have a nice little green sofa in here which just makes it feel i don't know it feels like such a girl boss office that is the cringiest thing i've ever said i hate that term girl boss but that's kind of the vibe it's giving me also, look at these two. I didn't ask them to just lie there, by the way. They are being the perfect models. Do you like your little bed in here? <laughs> are you comfortable? Do you like it? Oh, you look... Desi's like, I'd rather not be sharing, but it will do for now. Hello. <laughs> Is that comfortable? Oh, we don't need to see that tinky. Thank you very much. So, yeah, this is the update. I... 
honestly love it in here this has just been a game changer for me i love having an office so much um this is the sofa so it's in a dark green velvet i just wanted to add a little bit of color in here because as you can see by this side of the room it's very gray and white and neutral which i love but i just feel like it needed a little injection of color plus I know these two rascals will definitely want to get on there. So I thought rather than just limit them, I'd rather have a dark coloured sofa and just let them hop on. And it is very comfortable. I haven't said where it's from. It's from Snug Sofa. Um, this is their, I believe this is called their Big Chill Sofa. It's a three-seater. Um, but no, it was just the perfect size for this space. And I can't wait. So I can just lie down on here, just watch the telly. I can put the laptop on my lap if I want. Yeah, I'm just really, really pleased with it. I think it just really finishes off the office great. I do want to get, I think, a little, maybe like a little coffee table. Nothing too big or fancy. I think maybe just one of the um, like clear acrylic ones or glass. Just something um, that's not going to take up too much room, not look too offensive. Um, and maybe just have a nice coffee table book on there, nice candle. Just so that if like, someone or me <laughs> does sit on there, I've got somewhere just to pop a drink down. Um, because then eventually um, I may get a new office desk, like a nice wooden one. No time soon. This one is doing me absolutely fine. But I'm trying to kind of arrange or any new purchases that I get in here I'm trying to think ahead and think what will go with everything so hence why I didn't want to get a wooden coffee table because I didn't want wood desk wood coffee table and just yeah <laughs> that is my thought process I'm just going to close this so it's not in my way now this this might just be possibly the most genius or ridiculous thing that I've bought since moving into this house but I saw someone have one of these on TikTok in their home office and it kind of just, <laughs> I just thought this will either be great or ridiculous and I can confirm it's great. So, you know, who's winning really? It's a desk hoover, a desk hoover. So it's just this little white, white box thing. See the little brushes underneath and you turn it on and then hoover your desk. Which might sound really silly, but this office is on the top floor. And if I can't be bothered to go all the way down to get cloth, spray, you know, the duster to dust here. And also I do sometimes eat at my desk, you know, might be a few crumbs. Hoover them up. Jobs are good and crack on. I mean, it's it, pretty ridiculous, but I am guarantee someone is going to ask for the link for this. I'm not going to put it in the description box. You're going to have to ask because I want to be proved that this wasn't stupid. So there's that. In my little top drawer here, let me show you. So in my little top drawer, I've just got the remote control for this TV. Puppies are just down there, still snoozing. All my pens and like these lovely highlighters that I bought from Amazon. They're in all these like really nice pastel, just nice aesthetic colours. It's very very nice um they're kind of just all mixed in together though i'd love this to look really neat and lovely but this is the best it'll do for now just got my notebook here this which was also an amazon purchase is my screen cleaner let me show you this so this is my screen cleaner so i've used it on my phone and my laptop so here's a little spritz and then this material on the outside is essentially um like a microfiber cloth and I can just clean my laptop screen and my phone screen with it. So it's either genius or ridiculous, but I'm going to say genius, to be honest. There we go. Clean screen. So yeah, that's a little tour of what's in there. At the back here, I do also have some like uh, little labels. I'm not actually used yet. But little labels. They actually bought these guys for, <gasps> for my Vlogmas. Book. So I've got a brand new notebook coming, especially for planning Vlogmas. It's a Christmas themed notebook, I'll add. So I bought these in just as like helpful tabs so I can kind of 
work my way through it. And I'll do just have a little coaster in there for when I have my cups of teas. Uh, what else do I have in these drawers? Oh, that's my uh, receipts book where I pop all my receipts for the accountant. And then in here, oh, I've just got my old camera, which I keep as a backup in case this one decides to play up. Um, just so that obviously I can carry on working. This is just a holder for my phone, for when I need to put my phone on the tripod, and my cables for when I'm popping my camera content onto here. I also did pick up this little candle um, from Primark Home, which smells lovely. I think it was only, how much was this? £3.50, absolute bargain, and I just like the tones in here. I like the dark green with the dark red. It's feeling a little bit autumnal, a bit more Christmassy, feeling great. Anyway, guys, speaking of Vlogmas, right, I need to try and carry my phone, this and the tripod back downstairs. But busy, come in, you're quite happy here. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 round the tripod. <laughs> anyway, guys, speaking of Vlogmas, I know it probably seems a little bit early, but filming for Vlogmas, oh my gosh, filming for Vlogmas does start in November because it's the only way to keep on top of it and be able to manage to churn out as many videos as I need to. So I know it might seem a little bit premature to be talking about it, but that's just the name of the game, I'm afraid. So. One thing I did want to ask is if there's anything that you'd really like to see from me this Vlogmas, then please do let me know. I really want to go bigger and better this year with Vlogmas. Last year was my first time doing it. I feel like it could have been so much better. There was so much more that I wanted to do, but couldn't do. I have got some fun ideas, but yeah, I'm really intrigued to see what you guys would like to see. Do I need to try and convince Andy to get involved on a couple of the videos? Mm, I might be able to bribe him. Who knows? But yeah, let me know, guys, what you want to see. As I said, I have ordered my Vlogmas notebook, which sounds so sad, but I'm so excited. So I think what I'm going to do this year is do it the same as I did last year, i.e. do a video every other day rather than every day and do like the 12 days of Christmas because trying to do like 24 videos in the space of obviously 24 days um, is so, so difficult and it just gives no breathing room. Um, and I just, what I don't want to do is get off to a great start, which inevitably I will because it's very exciting starting Vlogmas, get halfway through and then dwindle off or... I don't know, have the videos not, just not up to standard. I am a perfectionist. I do like things to look good. So yeah, I'd, I'd rather have 12 jam-packed, really well thought out, good vlogs rather than just kind of bumble along and just create videos for the sake of it. So yeah, that's what I will be doing. So the first Vlogmas episode will be on the 1st of December, but... In the run-up to November, I will 100% be filming like Christmassy videos. I'll obviously be filming like going out and getting Christmas decor and all of that fun stuff. The Christmas decor is also in the shops now. It's getting me really excited. Um, and even better this year is that me and Andy are actually hosting Christmas this year, which we've never done before. We've always gone down to like his mum and dad's. So they're actually coming up here this year, which yeah kind of like kind of semi-daunting as well as I said we've not ever hosted it so yeah there's all those other nerves around it like doing the food and yeah I just want to make sure it's really really good so I think vlogmas will be extra good this year because there's going to be a lot more things that I need to prepare for so yeah I hope you guys are ready sorry guys I've got you on a slight angle here I did uh, just pop to the co-op to grab some uh, to grab my lunch, the poopies came with, what are you doing Paul? The puppy dogs did come with me for a little ride, um, as you can see I'm in the Fifi 3500, I can't remember if I've, have I ever vlogged being in this car, I'm sure I have, yeah we basically, we got this car, got coming up to, must be 18 months ago now, um, we got this, we actually got it for, I got it for me, to be more of like a yard car so for when we had ranger i'd take this to and from the yard um just to save clocking up miles and 
expensive petrol on the bigger car and we've just held on to it since and now you know at the moment all the prices of everything have just gone up it's been it's, i'm so glad we held on to it it's been a bit of a godsend because it's compared to the bigger car the audi that we've got it's so cheap to run in comparison so i nip everywhere in this now to be honest and i love it my um my first ever car was a fiat 500 and i loved that so much it was in the um like cappuccino color her name was betty and i loved betty so much i took her to uni with me oh my god if i've got a picture of betty i'll put it on the screen um, I worked at TK Maxx to save up for the deposit to put down on Betty and I loved that car so much. I had that for, God, it would have been, yeah, it would have been four years because I had it on finance. So yeah, I gave it back when the finance was up on it. Oh, but I miss that car so much. Someone actually bought it in, um, that lived in Nottingham. I remember I saw it the once when I was driving round and I was just like, oh my God, there's Betty. I've not seen her again since. But if she is in Nottingham and you've seen her kicking about. Oh, I did love that car. Let me quickly show you what I bought anyway. I got myself classic ham and cheese sandwich. Can you go wrong? No. Strawberry flavoured water. And salt and vinegar McCoy's. What a banging little meal deal. And then I also got these as a little treat for later for me and Andy for after dinner. Um, the English Cheesecake Company. I had no idea that the co-op... Oh, God. That woman just really made me jump then. I had no idea that the co-op even... Um, oh, I've just noticed the car. There's a car full of people staring at me. Right. I don't care. I do care. I don't care. Anyway... <laughs> I've got to hold my cheesecake up now like a right numpty. The English Cheesecake Company, if you've never heard of them, oh my god, you need to try their cheesecakes. I had no idea that the co-op um, stocked them. So I saw they had, um, these are the Lotus Biscoff cheesecakes. Oh my god, honestly. They are just the best. You probably can't see them too well in the packaging but oh my god look at that so i got some of these and a little bit of cream just to have after dinner later as a little treat but for now i need to get back home and crack on with work lunch break over and the postman just arrived let me try and cover up my address and he bought me a cheeky little zara parcel so i thought i'd quickly unbox this with you it's nothing too major to be honest um i am gonna open this with you now so you might have heard of these before these are um part of the seamless contour range from zara and i love them because that range is just so comfortable and i just needed a couple of just like sets just for throwing on underneath things and yeah i always love the zara ones i had a set last year and like this gorgeous chocolate brown color which i loved and i saw that they bought them back this year so i decided to grab myself a couple of colors so beautiful cream leggings you can see in this lovely like ribbed material i will um of course try these on for you so i've got the leggings in my normal size size small and then to match cream it's it's kind of over is it oversized or did i get a large no nope, i've got a large so cream hoodie in a size large is cropped which i quite like because i think with high-waisted leggings it can look quite nice and then when you chuck on a big coat over the top just such an easy like throw on outfit so yeah decided to get these and they're also super comfortable when i'm working from home just chilling in they're lovely and um, the hoodie was 17.99 and i believe i think the leggings were the same 17.99 yeah which i don't think is bad at all for a lovely cozy set and then i also got exactly the same but in a different color i saw they did this lovely almost like sagey green color and i just thought this would be so nice with a gray coat i just think this color and gray look i mean look you can see on the wall behind me they just look so so 
good together. And then obviously the leggings to match. So I'm gonna quickly try these on just so you can see what they look like. And then just to show you what this looks like, so I've just popped the cream set on. Now for me personally, I wouldn't just go out of the house wearing just the leggings and the hoodie like this because I personally don't like seeing this part of leggings. I always feel like an oversized hoodie should like cover that bit. So for me personally, this kind of ensemble together will probably only be worn inside the house. If I want to leave the house, I'll definitely throw on a big oversized coat to go with this. So I'll quickly pop one on now, share what it looks like. There we go, that feels much better for me. This coat is from, uh, it's from H&M a couple of years ago, but I'm pretty sure they'll do one similar. I actually saw a very similar one on Mango the other day, so I will link similar if I can find it. But yeah, this is like more so how I kind of envisioned wearing it. Just a really comfy working from home outfit. If I want to throw on a big coat and my little Uggs with it, then it looks, looks all right for leaving the house as well. So I'll quickly pop on the green one just to show you. Oh, oh, <laughs> two, little, two little elves come to help me. That's nice. You're looking out the window. Hey, looking out the window. Anyway, sorry about that guys. I actually think the green might be my favourite. This like colour, this sage green colour isn't really a colour that, I don't really wear that often, but I think, I actually really like this colour on me, if I do, if I do say so myself. I have just popped it on, thank you Desi, model dog, with my New Balance trainers, um, which I think they look really, really nice with. And then my grey coat, this one was from Mango, was it last year or no, the year before, two years ago. Um, such a great coat, I absolutely adore it, so warm. But yeah, I told you, this grey and green colour together is just super, super nice, I love it. But yeah, just a couple of nice, nice new little sets for the wardrobe. But anyway, I am going to... Um, Crack on, I've got a few little bits I need to get filmed and then I think I'll take you to puppers for a W-A-L-K because I couldn't take you this morning, could I? So we've got an afternoon one today. Yes, we've got a long afternoon one today. Oh, I know, are you excited? Show me that gorgeous squishy face. Oh, mwah. <laughs> All done guys, oh don't mind my bit of a slightly sweaty look now, I've had to put my hair up, I was just, I was actually so hot today filming, it's been one of those weird days where it, it's quite deceiving, it's cold but the sun's coming in and oh I've got a bit of a, a bit of a sweat on but I've just popped on this Zara um, set that I showed you earlier, it's so comfortable so oh do you want to come back in, oh it's raining, quick! Get in puppies, quick, quick, quick. But, uh, as I said, I've just finished. I am going to light the candles down here just for a bit of ambiance. And I thought I'd have a quick, uh, a little update, a little life update, chat. Oh, I can't tell you, wow, I just look like a big cream cloud right now with this set on this sofa. Anyway. I thought I'd give you a little, and I'm talking about this really like, I don't know, I don't know whether I'm gonna regret talking about this or not, because it's an area of my life that I don't always want to be, I don't know, I don't always enjoy sharing. Basically, like the horsey side, I've, I've kind of started the process very, very cautiously and like tentatively of looking for a new horse which i'm very excited about and like as i as i mentioned like earlier in this vlog i never know how much to talk about with this because it just feels weird that it's a part of my life and i don't talk about it but at the same time i don't always like showing or sharing too much of it because that is like my escape like i obviously have a lot of my because i vlog I do share a lot of my life which also opens you up to opinions and 
criticisms and all of that stuff and horse riding for me has just been my hobby throughout my life and it's not an area that I just don't want to taint it do you know what I mean I don't want to have any anxiety around it I don't want to feel like pressure around it but at the same time when something is happening in that area I also want to tell you guys as well to yeah just keep you updated so that is happening I've kind of as I said very cautiously started looking by the way guys for if any of you are new here I have owned like horses before this isn't just me being like I want a pony and going out and getting a horse but no as some of you will know you might remember Ranger and I've spoken about this before so I'm not going to repeat myself and go into detail because to be completely completely honest I could get quite upset about it and I have been very upset about it but it just wasn't meant to be with him his health issues and just yeah he, unfortunately it's the horse industry when it comes to buying and selling horses it's a minefield and there are some just really dishonest people and unfortunately because horses you know no surprise they don't come with uh, exactly a, a cheap price tag so some people like to take advantage of that and be very dishonest when it comes to selling and because they just see dollar signs unfortunately when it comes to buying a horse it it can be so so difficult so i have started that spoken with a few people um, like about their horses like basically I've called and had conversations about a few some I've just kind of sussed out maybe won't be um, not for me but there's a couple that seem seem on paper to be of what I'm looking for I have arranged to go and see them we I mean we'll see we will see I will give you an update as to how it goes might be in this vlog might be in the next vlog but we'll see. Wish me luck, guys, because it's a stressful process and um, not as stressful as buying the house, I will add. I think nothing can top that. So it's going to be a walk in the park compared to buying this house. But yeah, wish me luck, guys. Good morning, guys. Oh, I apologise about the light, but as you can see, the sun is blaring in. Maybe if I stand back like that, there we go. Um, I just quickly thought I'd show you what I am wearing. We're just about to head to the... Um, it's kind of like a garden centre slash farm shop kind of place. Um, we're actually cooking our first Sunday roast dinner in the house. So we thought we'd go get all the ingredients nice and fresh. We've got a couple of friends coming over for a roast dinner. So yeah, we're going to head over, have a little look. I think they're going to have all the Christmas bits in as well. I know it might still seem a bit early, but I want to have a look. I just, yeah, I'm really excited and I'm so excited to actually cook the first roast dinner in the house. But before we head off, I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. So, cream, like, wool jumper from H&M. I love this because it's a kind of jumper that's got that really nice stretch to it. So I feel like over time, this will slowly kind of stretch and get a bit baggier and a bit looser. And then over the top, I've actually left the label on this by accident. I need to cut this little tag off. I have got my brown aviator jacket from Zara, which I'm just still so obsessed with i love it so so much it's getting its first proper little house in today and then i'm wearing my leggings from pretty little thing and then just my ugg boots these are in the shade antelope and i thought they just went really really nicely with this coat so yeah i'm gonna go and cut the tag off this and then we're gonna head on over and yeah see what the god sent us to That you don't find cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's so many ways to be happy Trust the right. 
guys from the garden centre. Um, just about to start making dinner. Andy is prepping his meat. I'm going to do the veg and I think I'm going to have a glass of wine while I do it because it's a Sunday. Why not? We're already running late for dinner as per. Right, I need to do my timers. I need my phone. Does anybody else write on their phone what time everything needs to go in and everything's going to be done by because I literally have to. So me is going in at... I can't even get it in. Look. Uh. Andy can't fit his meat in. I know I said I was going to have a glass of wine but... Just realised we actually have rosé prosecco in, so I'm gonna have a glass of this while I do the veg. Do you want a glass? No, no, all right, thank you. <laughs> so meant to say yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. You be Mr. Boring. I was gonna have a beer. Woo! You have a beer then. Right. Do you need anything else? Do you no. know where everything is in this kitchen? Are you serious? <laughs> Do I know where everything is in this kitchen? Right, time to do these vegetables, guys. Cheers. Now I wanna embrace life. You and I side by side. Knowing there is more in life that I want. 